This tutorial follows from my previous macOS Sequoia video that I posted yesterday about how to dual boot both Sequoia and Sonama on the same computer. Click the link above to view how to set up a dual boot system. But in this video now, I'll attempt to open a Final Cut Pro library to see if it needs any upgrading and check some effects and plugins that may not be compatible with Sequoia. I'm currently booted into Sequoia. First, I'm going to duplicate a library created with Sonoma 14.6. I'll click on the library and duplicate. A new library is created with copy at the end of the name. Now I'll open the copy. It opens in Final Cut Pro running in Sequoia without any issue. I've opened a project and there's a red screen on one of the clips, but not on other parts of the same clip. How weird. I've hidden both the audio tracks and now the video section. So it looks like something to do with the video for just that portion of the clip. I'll show you now what it looked like when I booted back into Sonama. And there's no issue with the clip. So it's something to do with Sequoia or perhaps the system settings in the Sequoia boot disk. But that doesn't bode well for me. Anyway, I'm back in Sequoia now and I'll open another project. And this one looks fine. I'll try some third party plugins to see if they're compatible. I'll try the Keeper plugin the dreaded red screen. So that looks like it may not be working. Anyway, I'll add it to a clip of a face to see if it will remove the background. Now, it's definitely not working with Sequoia in this system. Let's try some titles. The Leno fix look okay. I'll try the yellow box Mo type. That's not working. Now X effects. And that's okay. How about premium VFX? Not working either. Let's try show pop. Not working. This doesn't look good, but maybe it's something to do with the fact that the security codes for these developers are not in this system. Let's hope so. In the meantime, I'm convinced of one thing. I'm not going to upgrade my main system, for the moment anyway. I'll now boot back in Sonoma and see if the copy library opens without any issue. And also if the plugins that I've added still work in Sonoma. And here are the title plugins I used in the Sequoia system, all working fine in Sonoma. I'll reactivate the Keeper plugin in the Inspector. And that works fine now. So one thing is definitive though, and that's that libraries don't need to be upgraded with the new system. Not that I thought they would do, but you never know. As for plugins, well, the jury's out, but I guess, and I hope, it's something to do with the developer's security codes that were not present in the Sequoia system. As I said, I'll be waiting to update, mainly due to that weird problem with the clip in the first project I opened in Sequoia, where part of the clip had a red screen and the other part didn't, and there seemed to be no added effects or plugins. I hope this has given you some insight. Thanks for watching.